Hey there guys, Ralph here with 4K Equipment. Today I've got a quick video here showing you an example of how to set up on a site that does not have any job file available or survey points. Um, all you have is a PDF of your residential building or a small commercial building. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into sketching. And from here, here's how we add points into our job file. As you can see, I have no project, no job over here yet. So I'm just on the home screen and I'm going to go into sketching. And now on my PDF of my house plans, let's say I have a square room of, let's say 15 feet all around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the length of 15 feet over here. And then you can also change this angle so you can have more complicated walls here. So now I'm going to go to the right, I'm going to hit the down, I'm going to go down. And then there's a tool over here where you can click close figure and it'll automatically make it for you. And there we go. So now I have my four points with four 15 foot walls. And so now I'm going to show you what it's like. Um, grabbing these stakes, hitting them in the ground, and setting up that wall. Alright, I am in the middle of my site here. And where I'm going to put up that point number one that I put down, I'm going to hammer in a spike or a nail or whatever we're going to be using. And then I'm going to come back, spray, and then grab the tape. Spray here. This is just so I don't lose this point. And then I've got my 200 foot uh, tape measure here. What we're going to do is throw that, hook this on, and then I'm going to measure out 15 feet to get the other side of my wall here. And here we can see at the 15 foot point right here. And hammer in my second nail. All right, now that I have both of my points set up here, 15 feet apart measured, I'm going to go back over to the tablet. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a setup using those points. So here's point one, there's point two. And so we're going to go home, uh, layout points. Then we're going to do a setup for on site here. And then we're going to click anywhere. We've got our compensator off a little bit, so I have to go level the compensator. All right, now that my compensator is leveled here, uh, instrument height zero, reflector height, we have it at six foot. And everything looks good there. Hit the yellow button and I do have a video over setting up, but uh, I'm just going to go quickly here just to make it happen. So we need to lock our prism next. All right, now I'm over what I called my point one. My prism is locked and we are in the process of setting up. So we're going to hit that one and hit start and then store. Now I'm going to move over to what I called point two, which is over there. All right, over point two here, leveled up, good enough. We're going to click point two and click store. And now the total station will accurately tell you where it's at on site. So now that we have the total station set up, we can hit this button down here, that green button in the middle with the ribbon to show us the residual differences. Um, it looks like when I was measuring with the tape, I was off by like an eighth or a fourth there, but uh, not too big of a deal depending on whatever you want your tolerances to be. You can change them in the settings to whether it okays it. Mine are completely fine, so the setup is finished with that green check mark. And now our total station is set up, and now we can plot out these points that I sketched in earlier. So. All you have to do is, since we're already in layout points application here, we can click three and click start. And what we're going to do is gonna, it's going to tell us to walk to point three and it's going to help us out here. So as I'm walking, I'm not sure if you guys can see that with the sun. 
our dot on there is going to continually move until we get close enough and then it's going to change to this view and it's going to help you line it up i'm going to line it up off camera here real quick all right now i'm close to bubbled up over got the bubble there over what i called point three it looks like i need to be seven sixteenths closer about half an inch closer and about a quarter inch to the right so what i can easily do just come down here to my pull tip here half an inch forward quarter inch to the right somewhere right there somewhere around there and so now we've got our point three marked out and then we can go over to our point four we can spray that out with this guy we can walk our lines spray our lines with this machine just different concepts of different things you can do here. And then we can always hit next point. And then we can lay out lines if you want to. Consider these lines that we put in here. Yeah. So with the sketching function, we can go in here with just a PDF and actually put in points ourselves at different degrees and different lengths to make our files.